Hi guys, I'm just going to do a, a vlog. I used to call it a vlog, but I think vlog actually sounds better. Anyway, I've sorted my builder bears out, they're all lined up on here. Cleared the space where the um, blah, 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 record player was. Uh, what else have I been up to today? Sort this bike out. I've just got a couple of adjustments to do, but it's it's now rideable. Fixed the rear brake after the um, cable seized in from sitting outside for too long. What happens, because on a lot of these style bikes, and ladies bikes, because these are actually classed as a unisex. Because um, they were designed for people in city, so they could, you know, fold up and tuck away in their small apartments and whatnot. That was the whole idea behind these folding um, cycles, which is still an idea used today because you can get the modern equivalents of these. But anyway, the cable comes into the caliper at the bottom, so water and rainwater and whatnot can easily run down there, collect in here, and it just rusts the cable and it will um, seize it up, especially if it hasn't been used, which is what happened. Uh, as I said in a previous video, the rear dynamo had also seized and just gone bad from sitting outside, but I couldn't find a replacement to fit in this gap. It was a really odd small one and I haven't got one, so what I did, took it off, moved the rear light up here, just because I can, because I actually prefer a light up there, completely rewired them, you know, with my separate ground wire running to the dynamo and put the dynamo on the front. Or a new dynamo on the front, I should say. I've also found a bolt to go in the middle there to stop it from folding, because I'm not going to fold it, so. Now I've got one more in this shed I need to work on. Uh, another one that I need to break for parts. Which I might actually use on the other one, because I don't need them. And I could really do, you know, use the spare parts to keep the two I've got going. So, that's what I'm going to do. The, whole, the bottom bracket is completely knackered on it as well. So it will, when I get a chance, get broken for parts. And I will just keep the two. I've got one sitting over at the old workshop, which I might just take down to the dump tomorrow. But I can't be asked with it, to be honest. I might just get chucked on the trailer and go down the dump. And I'll have a look and see if I can find anything, you know. That I could throw in the car and do up, even if it's just a frame, because I've got a shed. Literally a shed load of bits. <laughs> Literally, that sh my upstairs cupboard is just floor to ceiling, back wall to door of bike parts. I'll show you that one day. <laughs> but yeah, this was just a frame when I got it. Uh, from the mum's old neighbour, because... Uh, what he likes to do, because he can, uh, he can actually make a fair bit of money, actually he can make more money doing this than selling the bikes whole, he'll break them for parts. He'll take things off like the brake calipers, usually the dynamo lights, but he didn't with these ones because they're actually quite crap. And as you can see, I've got black tape around that one anyway. <laughs> Just to hold the... If not, the lens pops out of the front. So... <laughs> Uh, usually if he's if it's got a good one on he'll take the three speed lever I'm surprised he didn't take the bell actually does that work or is that bell I put on <coughs> yeah that worked birds have pooped all over it you know he'll take all the good parts off so he'd actually taken the um, quick release lever out of the middle there that's why I had to put a bolt in and he took the wheels I don't actually know where I got the wheels from for this <laughs> but they're not the originals. I can't even remember if the mud guard actually yeah, I think I think it was just the mud guards and the crank and the seat and the handlebars and brake levers and whatnot that was left. So I just put in a couple of wheels, a new pair of brake calipers and away it went. That's a rally, it's a rally stowaway. And a nice sort of purpley colour. Yeah, I'm not fussed if it's a girly colour. I just like shopper bikes and folding bikes which is why I've actually got four at the minute I did have five but I have actually scrapped one because 
I did get it in a rideable condition, but I only bought it from the recycle centre just for the parts anyway, because the frame was pretty beat up. Same as the one I've got at the workshop. And I've got one down in the shed, as I've already said. That neat, um, it's got a knackered bottom bracket on it, and it's because it's a rare one, I can't find a replacement. It's not a bog standard car crank like this one's got. Unfortunately, but I've got spare cranks for these. I've got loads of spare parts to keep one of these going. So, yeah. Clean the bird crap off that mud guard. I can't remember if I put them... No, I'm pretty certain I did not put these mud guards on, but they were already on there. Yeah, I've got a red one down in the shed as well that I'm going to fix up. There's two bikes over at the old house as well that I want to bring back. Hopefully tomorrow, if stepdad lets me sit him in the car, just take the wheels out and put them in the back of the car, I'll have a uh, adjustable with me, so what else? Record players on eBay and Gumtree. Quite cheap, because I just want it out of my way. I'll probably be, you know, getting less than its actual value. I mean, it does work. It's just... They're full of crap in there. They need to be taken apart and some proper contact cleaner needs to be put in there to clean them out. But aside from that, this works. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I thought I'd try eBay and Gumtree together. Um, oh. The other thing I've listed up is my iMac over there. Because like I said, I'm just having a click. Oh, question. I've got all this random computer stuff here. Should I stick it on eBay as a job lot? Because I've tried a lot of that separately and not had much luck. Actually, I tried that separately and that didn't sell, but... I was just thinking, you know, should I just throw it all on eBay and start it at 99p bid and just see what happens? Or do I take it to a charity shop or what should I do with it? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with that. What do you think? I'm leaning towards putting it on eBay as a job lot for 99p and see if I can get anything for it. If I get a pound for it, I don't care. <laughs> oh, the other thing I have did today, because I was feeling very generous, while I was in here, I found a model scale 176 bus of an old London Routemaster, still in its box, still sealed in cellophane, which is something I bought middle of last year, I think. And uh, I'm not really into buses. Uh, so what I did, I was going to throw it in the bag that I've got through there for stuff for a charity shop. But then I remembered that one of my friends on Facebook is a huge bus enthusiast. She loves buses. So much that she's actually regularly taking bus rides just for the sake of riding on a bus. And she's always posting photos of buses, you know. If she's on a double decker, she'll sit at the top at the front and she'll take photos of buses coming towards her and put them up on Facebook. So I figured I'd give her first dibs for free. I didn't charge her, I didn't even charge her for the post. Because I'm a good friend like that, you see. <laughs> so I did, I put, she said yes. So I got her address and uh, wrapped it all up and went and posted it today. And the um, computers I'd sold that I got to go to somewhere abroad. I actually don't know where because the address given is only to uh, eBay's depot in Derbyshire. Um, <laughs> well, though the name sounds Russian. I'm not going to say his name for his own privacy. But his name does sound Russian to me. So it could be going, going to Russia. Um... Got these out of Lidl's today. Bollocks. <laughs> Pair of them for 2 dollars I know that seems cheap, but... 
the reason I actually bought them is because there is a fair bit of weight in these. I don't like padlocks that weigh light because that usually means they're shit. But these are actually quite heavy. So that's going on the shed door to replace one of the current locks. That one I'll just keep hold of as a just a spare lock for something. If I had the cash I'd have got two packs. Actually I might go in well, if I really wanted to, and I could brave the cold, I could go in now, but I think maybe tomorrow I might go in and get another pack. Because two of these on the door would be great. Because, like I said, they're quite heavy. Right. Oh. Might as well take that off later and chuck that in the bin. The plastic, that is. Still got my track to arrive. Though, according to eBay, that was only posted yesterday. Um, I think that's about it. I haven't really done much else today. When it is frickin' cold, I don't think... According to the weather, it didn't get much above freezing point, if it even got above freezing point at all. I don't think it did here, but I know it's frickin' cold, even for me. I actually had to put the heating on earlier. That's how cold it was. If I've got to put the heating on, you know it's cold. Because I can actually tolerate quite low temperatures before I have to put my heating on. But I was chilly early and had to do it. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. Um... That was the other thing I was going to put on eBay. I've got some... I think the photos are on the PC. I hope they are. I've got two video cameras down there. Uh, mind you... <laughs> I might start them, I don't know, £5 bid. Because uh, due to my limitations on my account I can only list 10 items or £100 and uh, I can now list 6 items which would have to be at 99p or 1 item at £9 and some odd pence <laughs> why there's some odd pence there I don't know but that's what I can list so I might do those cameras because I think they would sell and again it's just some more junk out of my way I was just hoarding for the shit they were offered to me. I was like, oh, old technology, I'll have that. Yeah. I've got my old Samsung camera. That will do. So I've got to keep my tapes for that. I'll sell these others as spares, repairs, put them up at £5 start bid. Someone might take them. I actually forgot about those till I now looked at them. Uh, so yeah, that is... That is, oh, I've got a brake cable laying down there for some reason. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to, of course. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.